we can break into that now. Hey everybody, Jamie here from Enigmatic Nomadics on YouTube and look who I'm with. If you're new to the channel, we uh, built this school bus for Tamara a couple years ago, three years ago now. How many years? Year and a half. Year and a half, okay. <laughs> and we did a follow-up video More at the last year. van build and here we are at the van build number three, 2018. And Tamara stopped by to help pitch in with videos. So you're gonna be seeing her a lot on my channel. And I thought it would be great before she leaves, she's leaving in a couple of hours, to catch up a little bit and have you guys uh, see what has been happening in her life. And we'll take a quick look at the bus on the inside, but it's really not gonna be a bus tour. I'll put a button up for uh, more of that, you know, more bus tour stuff. Mainly, I just wanted to show Tammy, uh, Tamara, <laughs> I have a lot of things going on right now. That's okay. <laughs> and uh, just catch up with her. That's all. So with that, how's it going? Good, man. Really good. Uh, I still love the bus. It's still my favorite place I've ever lived. It's my favorite space to be. Um, so uh, after the van build last year, I said yes to a job. Um, I didn't want or need a job, but it's something I'm really passionate about. And I was recruited, and uh, they talked me into it. Suckered me into taking a full-time gig. Um, so I've been directing a wilderness therapy company in southern Utah and feel really strongly about that work and really passionate about it. However, I recently put in my notice because it is all encompassing and so while I'm doing this really important thing, I'm neglecting all the other things that are important to me and you know, the, the thing back to where I started when I decided I didn't want, you know, to have an all encompassing gig. So um, they're going to transition me into some other um, departments and uh, that's going to be a little more conducive to life on the road. So I'll still be involved. Um, with that because like I said I really believe it it's really important what we do um, but I'll be able to be a little bit more balanced and to be on the road again so yeah but life's been good it's been very different than it was last time we spoke it's been very a lot of responsibility a lot of weight on my shoulders a lot of busyness um, a lot of high stakes and decisions to be made I've managed for the first time in my life I've you know um, so that's been wild but um, but yeah, still loving the bus. Like, um, I park it, you know, outside the office, and um, half the time I'll go, I'll leave the office and go work in my bus just because I love this space. And everybody who comes, you know, people always want to tour it, of course, it's fascinating to people. But um, everyone who I show my bus, on a regular basis, people will say, like, the energy in here is so good, like, or it's just so comfy in here, or it feels good in here, or something along those lines. And, that's how I feel about it, and I, you know, once again, I think it has everything to do with the fact how it came to be, you know, just all, that's genuine good energy in there. How it came to be has a lot to do with folks that are watching right now that helped make it happen. They sent in either uh, the crowdfunding for the GoFundMe, or they sent in some materials that we put on the wish mm -hmm. list. Mm -hmm. Speak to them directly for a moment about what that donation, you know, them chipping in to help make this happen means to you and how it's uh, changed your life. Um, I've been able to uh, have a more of a self-sufficient life and a lifestyle that fits my heart, you know, a lifestyle that fits um, what I want, you know, I've been recovering from this accumulation and, um, you know, and really almost hoarding and really misunderstanding what abundance was, really misunderstanding what stuff was and what that relationship should be. And this bus has really facilitated me being in a really healthy, balanced place with that, you know, having a small space and a small space with wheels under it so that I can go and experience life and experience the world. Um, and then also having a space that I can bring other people into my home. That's been something that's been really special about having this space is, is having the space to, ha to, to entertain um, and to bring other people into my home. And I feel like what, you know, I wish I had more to offer when I come here to this community. Um, but I feel like what I offer is I love talking to people. I really love it, you know, and that's kind of my gift. I'm not, you know, I can't install solar or do electric work or carpent carpentry, but I, have, I find joy in hearing people's stories and talking to people and this space facilitates that. So I really hope that the people who are part of this, um, if a little bit of you is in my home, I really hope you get some joy from the joy that I get from it. I really hope that uh, that you smile and you feel good inside when you think about the part that you played in uh, in this thing that means so much to me and that I still enjoy so much and I don't foresee an end to you know benefiting from this and it still hits me sometimes you know it's still it's my normal life but it it still will hit me sometimes out of nowhere where I'll just go oh my gosh that happened you know and I'll just get that surge of gratitude you know and that that 
a humble feeling, you know, so. It seems like when you come here, we do little revisions every time. What's being done <laughs> this year? So I never come with the intent of having anything done, but Jamie's always, uh, you know, it's it, it's still you, it's your adopted child. It feels like it's you still know? under warranty. Yeah, it's still your project, which I think is rad, you know. So, um, so for me, I you know I always think it's great, but upgrades, you know. So um, I had the flexi panels on before, and unfortunately, someone tried to yank one off. Someone tried to steal one um, and just destroyed it in the process because that double-sided tape that you used, what's it called again? VHB tape. That VHB tape. I mean, there's no getting past it. So they just destroyed the panel in the process, and then I couldn't get it off either. Anyhow, and and I thought that there was a problem with my battery. Um, so Jamie suggested that um, we take advantage of the steel in Flagstaff. Who was running the deal? Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Yeah, and get the 305 watt um, uh, rigid panel as an upgrade and then just donate the other four panels um, or the three working panels to whoever could use them. And that's what's happened. And I was stoked to be a part of that, you know, first of all for the upgrade and then secondly to be able to have something to give even though it was given to me in the first place, but to be a part of that, you know, um, that paying it forward cycle that just goes around and around in this community. Um, and so now I've got a new solar panel and already like uh, my read is way higher. It wasn't the batteries at all. It was, you know, the panels. And so now I'm getting what I should be getting. Well, we did top off your batteries with a generator mm -hmm. and a smart charger. Mm -hmm. So that gave you a little bit of a head start. Yeah. And now nice. with this 305 watts, I think you're gonna be in better shape as far as being able to pull in amps to, to replenish the batteries as you use them. Yeah, and that was a great deal. And Ren and uh, what was the other fellow's name? Eric. Yeah, oh, Eric picked it up. Yeah, so gratitude to Eric for going to Flagstaff to pick it up. Ren put it on lickety split really quick because um, I have to head out to work. Unfortunately, it's killing me to leave. Um, but I've got responsibilities. And then um, Jamie got me, it, Jamie's always got some kind of surprise for the bus, you know. Um, Jamie got me um, audio, what's it called? The So I have the LED lights, if y'all remember that, that light up in the constrobe. You can change the colors and it kind of goes around uh, the perimeter of the inside. And uh, Jamie uh, got this upgrade feature where it can sync with my music. So um, I have this uh, sweet Bose speaker uh, that someone gave me as a gift um, that I love. It's like the only expensive thing. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I've got the batteries and all that. Anyways, but I love that Bose speaker and now the, mu the music and the lights will sync up and so I can have a party. What is life gonna look like for you after you you know, you stop working in the office every day and make that transition to working remotely. What is it going to be like with respect to how the bus is going to fit in and what's that going to do for you with respect to travel? Well, a big part of the reason that I took the job uh, was because I was, after two and a half years of just being a nomad, I was starting to feel the void in my life of being a part of something bigger than myself and having a mission and a passion and a calling. Um, you know, and I was, I was trying to make contributions in every way that I could along the way. Um, but I was started, I felt myself getting self-absorbed and um, so uh, I think with being able to transition like I said into doing the marketing and the hiring stuff that I can do remotely or that travel will be a part of it, I can have it all basically. I can still be involved in this thing, um, still make a contribution to this thing that helps kids and helps families um, and therefore be outside of myself and be making a contribution. But I'll also be able to be on the road which is really what feeds my soul. Um, and so, and obviously the bus is an integral part of that, you know, to be able to take my home with me, you know, everywhere I go and to be able to go visit loved ones whenever I want, you know, like there's a lot of relationships that when I'm on the road versus when I'm stationary somewhere, um, you know, I, you know, I, I neglect some relationships the last year and there's people I want to see and I can roll around with Cammy again, you know, and connect with her more and my best friends who are all over the country and, you know, I have a massive family, 21 nieces and nephews um, that are spread far and wide. Um, so I'll be able to connect with people I love, I'll be able to um, go to the primitive skills gatherings that I love to go to, go to the adoption community events that I love to go to, um, and the bus is going to take me there, all those places, you know, and um, not only is it, not only is it wheels, not only is it utilitarian and functional, but it's just so comfortable and so functional. Um, I just, yeah, I adore it. You're watching this and you're hearing Tamara's story and if you're at home thinking about some kind of a traveling life, lifestyle, I hope that you're taking into consideration what she's saying because if you've got a little bit of the bug and you want to try to do this, I'm not a big advocate of living in a vehicle and traveling around. I'm a big advocate of being happy 
And so if being at home and having a house makes you happy, stay doing it. If your job makes you happy, stay doing it. Mm -hmm. But if you feel trapped and you're not really sure how all the pieces would fit together, there's gonna be a lot of providence in play that's gonna help you. So you don't have to see the end to be able to start. And you're hearing right now from Tamara, you know, you got on the road, and I echo the same sentiment as her. You, it uh, makes you a little more fully embodied and a little more present, and you interact with people better, and then they have a better interaction that could help their day. And this whole effect, uh, you know, chain of events is a good result of it. So if you feel like you don't really like how things are going, you might want to do the traveling lifestyle. I love it. Tamara loves it. You probably would too, even though there'd be a little, few stumbling blocks along the way. It's, there's always going to be those. So it's just something to take into consideration. I was working out at the back of my bus today and I noticed something on the side of her bus that I want to show okay. you. I'm glad you brought that up because I really wanted to share this story. So as I'm walking around doing interviews, I'm hearing all these stories about like, oh, I needed or I wanted this thing. And it appeared, you know, when someone had it and it just turned up when, you know, it manifested when I needed it. And I was loving hearing all these stories and then I had my own because Seth told me, he's like, Tamara, come check this out. You have exposed holes in your rig. And I don't know if I'd never noticed or didn't know it was a problem. And I just had these holes where there had been maybe a reflector or something. I don't know. But Seth's like, that's no good. You could get, you know, electrical problems. You could get mold in there. Um, it was not 10 minutes later. Brett shows up. He's like, I heard you have holes in your rig. And I'm like, how does this... Word travels fast around here. How did you even... Anyway, so then I went to go do another interview. Came back around the fire that night, and Brett's like, did you see where the holes were? And I went and checked it out. Let's so. go take a look. <laughs> so... Not only functional, but decorative. Yeah. Not only, not only does it take care of my problem, but it's also cute. Yeah. yeah, it really goes with the bus, and I don't remember those holes being there when we released the bus to you. So I don't, I don't I know. Never you know. I didn't do, I didn't do everything on the bus. But now I've got little, and he just, I mean, just did it lickety split. I mean, no one even asked, and it just got done, you know. And not only, yeah, like above and beyond. So, you know, that's just, that's just how it works around here. Like I said, I keep hearing these stories about like, you know, I needed this or that thing, and then from within the community, it was provided. So this is a small example, but really made my day. Let's take a look inside. So you guys can just get a little bit of a glimpse. Like I said, we're not gonna go too much into it, but let's just take a look inside and we'll let uh, Tamara get going. I know that she's got kind of a schedule to keep and she might have some other things that she needs to do before she leaves. Let's check out the inside. Um, I just like semi so tile, it's under construction right now. Um, tile, who's an electrical genius, is kind of uh, sorting out um, a little um, uh, confusion that we ran into with the LED lights. And so that's why it's a little bit in, um, not in its normal tidy uh, state. So. You tend to keep this pretty clean though. I I'm do. always coming around and unexpected and. It always looks pretty clean. Yeah, honestly, this is the best homemaking I've ever done is since living in here. You know, when, when your living room is your kitchen, is your bedroom, is your bathroom, you make your bed, you know? And um, I just, I love how it feels so much. I'm so house proud, you know what I mean? I want to really invest the time in it and I, I just, I love it. It's my baby, you know what I mean? I, um, yeah, I take really good care of it and I love showing it off. Like I said, I'm so proud of it, even though I really did nothing um, <laughs> to contribute to it. So yeah, I keep it. I keep it nice and organized. Here's the music controller that we were talking about. When I was first ordering the parts for her LED lights, I wasn't able to get anything DC, and so from the beginning, it's been running on an AC adapter, and it hasn't been super uh, reliable because the AC adapter goes in and it's not very tight, and it probably comes out when she's traveling and. I'm not sure I even showed Tamara where the plug was for it. So it, it's been kind of spotty, but now we're going into a 12 volt and it won't be spotty and she can use her Bose uh, stereo system. Where's that little thing? Right there. Her little Bose thing. These things are 300 bucks on Amazon and they will fill this room like she has a major stereo system and it's portable and let's see. Yeah, mm, no. This isn't one of the kinds you can charge from, but oh, you look, can charge right. from it? Yeah, yeah, uh, right here. Okay, so you can charge from it. It's got one of those things on the bottom that you can hook, like you hook a camera up to. So you can put this on a tripod out by the fire and have it really close to you. I really like these. I didn't even know I was gonna go into that here, but Fantastic. if uh, you want good sounding music that's portable, these are really nice. They've got cheaper ones, but this is the water resistant one for 300 on Amazon, just saying. 
and uh, there's the 12 volt and you see right now we're pulling 9.2 amps in she's at 13.9 that's the highest I've seen since I've been here yeah 13.9 so it looks like she's gonna be in pretty good shape for her her solar and her uh, battery situation and um, another thing that I've gotten hooked up with Savannah, you funny pop. Um, so Jamie's like, when are you going to get curtains? And I was like, right? I mean, I just use the Reflectix at night. He's like, when are you going to get curtains? He's like, you know, there's a sewing station here. Come on. So we went over and they had this yellow, which I love. So we've only put up one because I still need to put up the other curtain rods. But um, And uh, I'm going to get more of these little rings to hook it up. But they made me these curtains. Um, so finally I have curtains. And it's some color, which I've been, you know. Take a look at these handles that she put on there too. We yeah. didn't do this. We just used handles that we could get our hands on at the time. And Tamara came back and put these on to replace them. Talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, I brought a lot of the outdoors in and um, the outdoors, the natural world is a big part of my life. And so I have a lot of natural materials in here, things that I've brought, you know, decoration that the natural world has provided. And so I just thought that really uh, represents me and it goes with my whole vibe. So I just, um, my friend Jason had uh, some of these antlers and I had some of these antlers and then we just put them on as door handles, which is kind of a unique feature. That it goes with the bus really well. It really does. It really does. So now that I'm, you know, once I'm not working full time, I mean, this job has been all, all consuming because it's, um, when I'm, when I'm on shift for two weeks, I'm full time plus on call 24 seven. So that's, I went from total freedom to the opposite. Um, but now that I'm transitioning into something that's not so all encompassing, I'm going to find be able to make those little spruce it up in the ways that I've been dreaming about doing, you know, and um, add just the little things that make it more me and put more color in and things like that. So, well, thank you for returning to the van build. It's yeah, always great man. to see you. Yeah. And I'm glad to hear that the bus is working out and that you kept it when you got the job. Because at one point you were thinking, oh, if I get a job, do I keep the bus? And oh, no, I always knew I, I, I'm not. Like, why would I not live in here even if I'm stationary? That's what I think too about my bus. Yeah, no, this is, so I did for a couple of months, it's a it's a long story and it's another story, but I, uh, for a couple of months in a townhouse, and it's interesting because I got depressed. You know, I got low energy and lost motivation and um, it doesn't work like this for everyone perhaps, but for me, and I didn't even know the difference before, um, but being in this space versus being in, you know, a townhouse, like, I just got sucked into it, you mm -hmm. know? I was less active. You know, that's something I've noticed about the people who, when, when they start the life, and it's really cool that it's been a few years of kind of being able to follow people. You know, we look at the people who have returned, you know, since the first van mm -hmm. build party, you know, um, and this is the third one. And you look how people bloom, you know? Um, people are in better health. People just, I don't know, have more energy. And um, even some people I've seen bloom socially. People who were self-conscious or a little awkward, you know, have bloomed socially. And so um, I think for me, just like when I'm in that life, I kind of wilt a little. But when I'm in the, this life, I bloom, you know, so. Would you say that uh, the people are a little bit different too from one life to the other? Like these people to me seem relaxed everybody's yes. blood pressure's down for the most part yes. nobody's trying to keep up with the joneses as far mm -hmm. as uh, matching you know material things i just yeah. don't see that as much out here as i do back when i had a job and was living in a house and totally all that. and my theory is that we're not special we're not any different than other human beings we're just in an environment and in a lifestyle that facilitates and brings that out you know lets us be like we ought to be as humans and so we we sit and we say oh yeah in the city there everybody's a bunch of jerks you know and honestly if they were in the if they were in um, an environment and a lifestyle and a community that facilitated being awesome, people are just awesome actually, you know, and we can bring our awesome out when we don't have that all encompassing job, you know, where that's all we have space for in our lives. We don't have space for connection. We don't have space to take care of each other because we have to do this, you know. I would say overstimulated in the, uh, no in the other world and uh, the social pressure is different. Out here, there's really no social pressure. Yeah, it's just you can you can show up and be yourself and um, you know don't have anything to prove and um, so there's Tile he's working on the the rig yeah oh, he's just popping in to do th some things on it yeah thanks for coming back did yeah. was there anything else that you would like to say before we wrap up um, I have had an awesome time I like I said I'm super bummed that I have to leave early um, I think it's been really neat to I you know I've reflected on being here that first year when there was just how many people were here. 
I think less 45 than 50. or something. Yeah. yeah. Less than 50 people that first year. And I mean, it's been awesome every time, but like, man, we just got to know each other so well, so well, so quickly and had such a tight knit tribe. And it's just, the family's just grown from there. And, um, I don't know. I just love what you've done. Jamie, you know, and people talk about it, you know, I don't know if people talk to you as much as they talk about you, but people just talk about the fact that you're just like, you show up, you're like, what needs to be done, you know, and it's, doesn't matter if you're young or old, doesn't matter if you're awkward or cool, doesn't matter if you're male or female, doesn't matter what kind of situation you've got, what the need is, um, you're just like, all that stuff's superfluous, it's just like, let's, let's take care of what needs to be done, let's get down to business, and let's do good things, and I think you're an unusual sort of dude, and I think, um, not everybody could do what you've done. You know, I think you're you're Thank you. perfectly, uh, it's a calling for you, I think. You know, you're perfectly, you have the perfect personality to make this incredible thing happen. Well, I have fun doing it. And I get a payoff too, when I see all this stuff come together, oh, I get a payoff too. That's some great karma. So, yeah. Well, thank you for watching this video. I know there's a lot of things you could be doing with your time right now. And I knew that she was leaving in a couple of hours. So I just wanted uh, to grab Tamara one quick time and hopefully we'll see you again next year at the Definitely. next van build we're just going to keep it going the van build will keep going definitely wouldn't miss it thanks a lot for watching see ya <laughs>